All right. Hello, and welcome back to Judgment. Ah, yeah, so we gonna continue this game. A little bit more, and we're gonna focus mostly on the main story. I'm gonna try, at least. Uh, do that. <clears throat> it seems to be a pretty long game, uh, but uh, we will see. I'm not sure I will be able to finish it, since it's on PlayStation now and only for a couple of weeks more. I don't think I will buy it. Maybe on a huge sale, but... So we're gonna try to play as much as, as, much as we can. So, the main story. Return to this place. We are here. So maybe we need to go out and then go inside again. Or maybe it's a little bit weird. run out uh, to get some shut eye okay I am exhausted <laughs> oh I don't know why I ran ran out Fucking phone. Hello? It's Ayabe. Wake up and look behind you. Huh? God, next time just knock, would you? I did. I knock you out. Uh, those must be the files. Those the okay. files on the Matsugani robbery investigation? Investigation? What have you been smoking? No Yakuza's gonna report a robbery on their office. I mean, they'd have cops swarming the place. Wait. The Matsugane incident was never a formal case. I rounded all of this up myself. Mm -hmm. You have cash? A hundred grand. Just like you asked. Nice. I wonder if I didn't have the cash. Everything's so clear. And these are practically real case files. You want to know how long <coughs> I spend on this stuff? Way more than I do on the streets, that's for sure. <laughs> Someone's proud of himself. <laughs> now then, <laughs> this is the floor plan for the Matsugane family office. It's from a year ago when the break-in happened. They haven't remodeled since then, have they? <laughs> Doubt it. Mm -hmm. So the question is, how did a thief break in? Get the money and make it out. Uh, because it's an inside job. So, to avoid getting seen by the security camera, the thief snuck in behind a guy coming in. Once they were in the camera's blind spot, he pistol whipped the guy and knocked him out cold. At the time, Kaito was the only one watching over the office. 
That's why the thief went in at 3 p.m. Barely any guards to deal with. All he had to do was point his gun at Kaito and get him to open the safe. But there was only one thief. Why didn't Kaito-san fight back? What would you do if a guy pointed a gun at your head and then shot the ceiling to prove his point? Even a guy like him would freeze up under that kind of pressure. You're really gonna chance playing hero? Once the safe was open, the thief smacked Kaito too. Knocked him out just like the last guy. And that's how the story ends. Yeah, something is fishy. It sounds a little too well thought out. <laughs> this guy was a pro. And consider this. If he didn't know when the office would be empty, he'd never have been able to pull it off. Clearly, he had a contact on the inside. Yeah, or... Maybe. But still, I don't understand why Kaito-san reacted like that. Normally, he'd have killed the guy or died trying. <laughs> Could be Kaito himself. That was all just a warm up. This next bit is what's worth the hundred grand. So, I said Kaito was alone in the office, right? Well, turns out someone else was there too. Huh? That friend. Hayashi. He saw the whole thing go down. But Kaito is the guy who took the proverbial bullet. Bad move, dumbass. <laughs> Open the fucking safe. Hurry up or I'll kill you. Interesting. Well then, you better make it count. Otherwise, it's gonna be my turn. <laughs> Apparently the poor guy was polishing his boss's shoes off in the corner. By the time he figured out what was going on, he was fucked. Okay, then. You got me. The money's yours. I'll just... go get it. Oh, so he did it. Because this dude was too chicken shit to interfere. He couldn't forget that face if he tried. It was seared into his memory. You could say it all worked out for the best, since no one got killed. You could also say Higashi abandoned his Aniki and let the thief get away. And that's one way for a Yakuza to lose a finger. Kaito never did tell anyone else that Higashi froze like a deer in the headlights. Instead, he took the fall for the missing hundred mil and got himself tossed out of the family. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? That sounds exactly like what Kaito-san would do. Right? But what happened next? How did Higashi get the money back? Couldn't have been easy. He chased the thief down and took it back. No. Thought that'd get Kaito back into the fold, which it obviously didn't. Thing is, he needed access to the police database to search for faces. That means I see it now. That's why you know what you do, huh? 
You think so? It's the only way you'd know about this case. They never filed a police report after all. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Long story short, Higashi used the database and found his man. A homeless guy living on the streets of Kamurocho. Known around town as Red Nose. Here, just sent you a pic. That's what he looked like before his life went to shit. Red Nose. I don't think his nose is all that red. Not my name. Don't ask me. <clears throat> Anyway, I think you know what came next. He tracked Red Nose down and took the money back. But Kaito-san's still out in the cold. Ain't that funny? Meanwhile, Higashi's shooting up the ranks. Guess he got on Hamura's good side. And Red Nose? Haven't heard a peep about him. And I'm keen to keep it that way. Higashi didn't kill him, did he? Beats me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, let's try to track him it? down. Worth the hundred G's? Nope. A year ago, Higashi must have turned the city upside down looking for Red Nose. If a guy like him could pull that off, so can I. <laughs> That's what you would think, but now I'm playing, so I guess the end of the game is here. Oh my god, the fucking neighbors are starting to drill again. Okay, let's hope it doesn't make it sound that it the sound doesn't make it I don't know I hope you guys don't hear it too much okay so uh whoa oh man <clears throat> Let's start here then. <coughs> Sorry, need to drink some. <coughs> Damn it. Hello. Hello. Red nose, is that you? Sorry, mind if I ask you a question? <sighs> Go on. Do you know a homeless guy named Red Nose? Here he lives around here. Nope, not ringing a bell. I only just moved to this part of town. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Maybe. No disguise is required. Oh man, I wanted to put on my dirty clothes. <clears throat> okay.
What's this? So this is like a concert concert hall or something? Blah, something. With some boy bands. I wonder if these guys are for real. White Knight. I don't think we uh, have been here. I don't recognize this place. So what is... Who are we looking for? Ah. Sorry, can I ask you something? Depends. What do you want? I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Red Nose? Never heard of him. Nothing, huh? But maybe my friends know something. Rudolph. You bet. Might take some time, though. That's all right. I can wait. If you say so. Oh, and in return, I've got this thing called a play pass. You mind taking a shot at it? What? Come again? It's for a new game this Big Shot Committee just opened. They call it Dice and Cube, over at Paradise VR. Which is what? It's uh, some kind of fancy board game. You wear stupid glasses, you roll dice. I tried to enter that building It's over on theater yesterday, alley. offline. You need one of the play passes to get in. Huh. This town's crazy sometimes. But I could have. got some pretty nice prizes if you win, too. But I guess I can now. Shot to shit. No VR for this hobo. Yeah, I guess you'd still have to move around. No VR for I this hobo. I got a few tried, but it sounds like they're all having trouble. So I want you to get a prize for me. Yeah. Young guy like you can do it. No. And no VR for yourself. this hobo sounds either, because I have never right. tried. You wait here. VR. I'll win you that prize. Thanks I a million, want to. Buddy. Really, I'll ask really bad. About your red nose in the meantime. Uh, but yeah, I cannot afford it yet, uh, and we'll probably wait for PlayStation's VR 2.0 or something. So we have to go there now. Uh, maybe we should grab a taxi. Uh, to West Shitfucky Street. Where's the driver at? Oh, there. Oh, they drive on the... Oh... On the right side? I didn't know that. I thought it was only England. Um...
left side traffic, whatever. We had that in Sweden for, I don't know, ugh, 50, 60 years ago. I don't know. <clears throat> but we changed it. I did some side questing offline. I think maybe I can. Uh, I think we finished this one. Yeah, done. Secrets of the Cats. And this one we did from start to finish, so you guys didn't see that, but it was pretty boring. Dun 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 dun. Oh man. I knew this. <laughs> I was watching these dudes when I walked. And I was thinking they look like troublemakers. Really guys? Really? <clears throat> okay, so now yeah, now we can enter this building. Do this. This is included in the main store. Ah, oh, look at those kitties. <laughs> so, do you have a play pass? Yep. Yep. It's a free trial. Just one. Dicing nope. cube, nope. <clears throat> nicey dicey. Surprise! Do do do. <clears throat> to clear a stage with more than two dice left. Okay. I have no clue what's going on here. Uh, I better beat the game and bring him back to prize. Really sorry, my throat is a little bit messed up. Nicey, nicey dicey. <laughs> oh man. Here we go. 
Here we go. What the fuck is this? Game over. What? What? X roll dice. Look around. Map. Dang old dice and cube game. Oh my god. Is this is this how it is to play a virtual reality? Then I'm not sure I even wanna try. Okay, there are three basic things you ought to know about Dyson Cube. First, you can start rolling them. They are dice with X and stop with X. There's a limit to how many dice you can roll per game. And third, what was the second? <laughs> Items you found around these parts are converted to cash. Okay. spaces to reach the goal. Go on. Roll them dice. Roll them. <laughs> no. Notice that the number atop the dice went down by one. It says or maybe I rolled three, I don't even remember. Oh, dice left, okay. Uh, bang, boom, kablow! Okay, what the fuck? Why did they even put this thing inside a game? This is just fucking annoying. Oh! Talk to this dude or something? Okay, cool. Looks we need to fight over here. Yes, yeah, so this dude has like a Was the, oh man, this is so fucking boring. I don't even care. Let's just. Not looking good. One star battle space. Oh man, this fucking sucks. I don't even wanna play this stupid fucking game. <sighs> oh, really? It's 
it okay it's timed okay Premium cat food. <sighs> Come on, a high number. How do I even interact with this fucking? So I have to fight, but I can ah. Oh, check items reward. Oh, no. Crossroads. I went this way because it looked shorter, but yeah, I don't know. Come on. I don't I don't understand. I don't and I don't fucking care. Yes. Oh, oh. How the fuck Oh man. Why am I bad? Oh yeah, I didn't remember how to do this. Almost there. Bad. Almost there. Nice. Annoying fucking clock. That'll do it. Oh my god. Pretty good, sunny boy. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> oh, I didn't really pay attention to the fucking text. Five spaces to reach the goal. So if I end up... Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, 
Oh, we have no dice. Oh man. Damn, I couldn't do it. <sighs> okay. I'm out of here. That was probably the worst game I played since yesterday. <laughs> Damn, couldn't do it. Yeah, I will maybe try that. Next time you'll be able to play short stand-up. Okay. Maybe I will try this thing out some more offline, but yeah, I'm done with it now. Could run, could grab a taxi. It almost takes the same time. I need to pick up those fucking screws. I'm trashing the place. Yeah, since since the loading time and whatever, so I don't know. Could be faster to actually run. Go get me one of those sweet VR prizes. Sorry, turns out I suck. You couldn't do it, huh? Oh well. Sorry for borrowing your legs. Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fellow. <clears throat> Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah. At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy. Yeah. You find him? No. Not yet. Try heading over to the children's park then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. Oh my Thanks god. Thanks for the boy. tip. Uh, don't mention it. What a voice. Go up. <laughs> you heading to the children's park too? Me? Nah. I already ate. By the way, Good this guy you. I'm looking for, name's Red Nose. You know him? No, man. If you want to find him, you should go check that food handout. It's gonna end soon, you know. Children's Park. Don't forget. I will ne Oh my god, on the other fucking side again! Okay, let's fucking run this time, though. Yeah, this is so fucking boring running around in stupid streets. Oh my god. Yo, it's Kaito. Where are you? On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the thief. You mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. But even if he isn't, I might oh find a Oh my god, he's gonna come down. To the thief was a fucking homeless kick his red, red nose. nose. You're saying a bum took I'm sorry, I'm talking to Looks the like phone. It. I cannot move. No clue if he's still alive, though. <laughs> after he got you, got to Apparently, us. that's a right. hard thing to do. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah? 
I'm sorry. asking me <laughs> isn't that the brother and the sister yeah. hmm? maybe that was a side quest yeah the panty panty side quest hi Honkiest Hooter experience. Huh? Dude. Oh, nega is I'm trying to do this friend events. Oh, what? Close your eyes now, kids. <laughs> His fucking eyes are so big. Hey. Low on money? No, man. I'm doing this for fun. Cash money on this job. Huh? What? <laughs> What's wrong with this game? Jigglers, Jumbles, Bossoms, Biggins, Bazoongas, uh, Love Bubbles. Love Bubbles. <sighs> that one I had never heard. Head to Apple Pie and ask for a girl named Maduka. Right. 
I will be chilling at the smoking area inside. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this game is so fucking weird. Like all of the Yakuza games, but it has oh bad guys. No. Yeah, I don't know. I was about to say something. Uh, the Yakuza games, uh, the same. I love the story, I love the plot, but it has so many strange fucking things going on in them as well. And mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't enjoy it. I <laughs> I like the tough and raw story that the game has with the murder uh, and whatever the, the, the yakuza thingy but all this stuff hey, all the fucking stuff you need to do this. looks what? like they weren't handing out food after all oh my god my it set me up so we're doing this instead yep yep <laughs> Red Nose sends his regards! Bombs! <laughs> Too fun. Okay. Let's start with this dude. Oh my god, didn't know we can do that. That was pretty cool. That you guys are getting old for this. Why'd make you a torch. <sighs> we wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? Okay. About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up in the yeah. sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. 
And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? <sighs> Not sure. Those types are kinda out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. Fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. <laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep, that's him. Not a doubt in my mind. So, a year ago, he got I to had already figured that out. And returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I, I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamrocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right, Kaito-san? Mm, no. Don't you want to know what happened? No. Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. Okay, and I will end this episode here. Uh, so, yeah. We will figure this shit out. And uh, yeah. we will see what happens in the next one. So, okay. Take care. Good evening. Good night. And goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next episode as well. Thanks.